Hello, I'm Andrew from Southwest Iowa. We're gonna plant corn today. I'm excited to show you what we're doing. Glad that you guys are watching again. Hope you're enjoying uh, watching us try to farm this year. 2024 has definitely been a challenge. Uh, I know it's been for a lot of people, but we still wanna be the best and the most fun to watch. So keep coming back. Where am I for the season? We're on day two of planting survived the first day with some minor planter issues. I think everything's really went well. With the Biopath, it's good for like 18 months in fertilizer. So it was nice to be able to pre-mix a bunch of this stuff early, have it ready to go. So I could just park a, a pickup and trailer somewhere and fend for myself. What I'm most excited about is seeing it rain again and seeing what we can do with rain since we've been in drought for the last four years, especially with all the new stuff that we're doing, trying to feed that biology, add biology to the plant right where it's, it's at. Excited about that, my strips look great. Just super excited for this season. So the reason we picked this farm for the Biopath uh, trials was this high organic soil. And then right here, we're on kind of a, we're probably 10 feet higher elevation right here. And this actually is a little bit of a clay soil. And then we go back in the low soil and then back there you see a sand hill. So that gives us four distinct yield environments on this farm. It worked out very well and we learned a lot from it. We're getting ready to start planting corn and I do in furrow fertilizer. So that's where I put my biopath. So it's right there next to the seed so it can get started early. There's also some other micronutrients, some sugar, and some biological food to hopefully we can kickstart that biology early and just be really aggressive this year. So doing some trials and excited for, for what's gonna happen. I think we've talked enough outside and I'm sick of this wind, so let's go get in the planter cab and get rolling. But this is where I do a lot of my trials. So this is all getting biopath today. This whole field will get it. But over there a little bit further to the west, soil's a little bit better and that's where I normally do an NCGA plot. And this area right where we're at right now is a heavier soil and so it's a zook. It's really tough to grow good crops on zook. It has to be managed completely different than the soils over there. I'm hoping with the biopath and adding some biology using cover crops and I am continuous corn so I'm trying to raise my organic matter that over time, maybe we'll transform this soil to something a little bit better. We will have about 300 acres of biopath and different corn and soybean fields. We have one plot of corn planted with biopath. Last year, we averaged right at seven bushels better on corn. We had spots right here where we're standing that had 20 bushels better corn. So what we found in our trial last year that the high organic soils that are holding a lot of nutrients, that was a good place for the biopath. It seemed to release nutrients that are in that high organic matter. The other place that we found that it really did well was on the other end of this where the the sand is that appeared to help the applied nutrients get into the plant. Where we saw the, like the three bushel would be right to my right here, which was a heavy clay soil with a low organic matter. So I believe that Mosaic is still finding that the in furrow application has given the most promise, but there's some trial data out there that shows side dress following the in furrow application pays well. So we're doing some of that this year. We have two different places that we put material in the planter. We call it low salt because it will be our in furrow mix. It'll be biologicals and sometimes a, a low salt fertilizer. And then the other side is a heavier mix of UAN. There's micronutrients in both mixes. Peyton and I are here today. We're planting corn and we are doing our biopath trial for this year. Doing a little planting here. Good conditions. Gonna be some rain coming in this weekend, so we're trying to get stuff done. This is a different strain than what we used last year in this trial. This trial's in the same spot. We do weekly tissue samples on this corn as soon as it's at, you know, 150 to 300 GDUs. As soon as we have two leaves, we're cutting them off. And so we want to see an early phosphate uptake. And we did see that last year with the Biopath, and that's what we're hoping to see again this year. That to us is success if the product has worked. 
I want to thank you guys for watching and watch some of my friends too. You can watch them, but just give us all the attaboys. Thanks for coming to our farm in Southwest Iowa and riding along with us while we planted corn. Follow along as we go into emergence and the next step. Check us out at FrontierFields.com. Until then, we'll see you again. <laughs>